For 75 years, an industrial plant on France's Atlantic coast quietly processed rare earth metals. But today, it's become one of Europe's biggest bets against Chinese dominance. Why? Because China controls 70% of global rare earth mining and 90% of refining, and these 17 metals power everything. Electric cars, smartphones, wind turbines, even missile systems. So Europe is making moves, big ones. The Solvay plant in La Rochelle, one of just two rare earth processors in all of Europe, is now expanding. It's the only site outside China that can separate all 17 rare earths. Think of it like splitting fruit juice back into pure apple, orange and pineapple. Only it takes over 1,500 chemical steps. Solvay's goal? By 2030, they want to supply 30% of Europe's rare earth needs, just by recycling motors and electronics already here. But here's the twist, Europe has no operational rare earth mines, the nearest ones, still a decade away. So for now they're importing from Brazil, Australia and Canada, and they're racing to catch up, because while China's miles ahead, it came at a cost, environmental damage, radioactive waste and decades of state support. To compete responsibly, Europe must spend more. Cleaner processing means higher prices. And companies need guarantees. Will governments commit? Will customers pay more for locally sourced metals? Because if not, Europe may stay stuck, dependent on one supplier and geopolitically vulnerable. The rare earth war isn't just about minerals, it's about who controls the future.